we've got to do some 360 here for a few seconds. I haven't used it in a while. So, why not try it? Right? Right. Right, bud? Right. Okay. Let's close this up a little bit. more muffin in there and somebody's smelling it so they're going to stay here and, until they know it's gone so we got to do something about that okay what I want to do is I bought a I brought over I brought over I bought I bought a bought I brought over I didn't buy a box of screws and my miscellaneous screws that someday I have to go through Oh, okay. So, what I need to do is first turn down the TV. But I really don't know or care. I don't know if you care to hear about the strange new worlds or not. This one would work, however, it's not the right one. The first couple grab, but I'm not not ready for that. Now I did take out another one I thought with it. What I want to do, oh this is way too big, I want to take this camera and put it onto this mount that I made. However, yes there's a however, I want to use the the threaded um, gizmo in the back. The only thing I need to do is I need to cut it short enough so that, uh, well actually that's not it either, it's close, but that's mostly dark. Well maybe it is, yeah that is it, let me see, I can't see how far in it's going and there's not that much to take it in and I haven't got anything with me that I can really measure it with, so that would be okay, but I'd like to have one shorter. So let's keep that one over there. Let's get this one back in here. Uh, I do have them, but they got they got the big hex heads on them. You know, like that. And there's just no way that I'm going to be able to stop that from touching the monitor or countersink it because like it's, it's not going to happen. Now if I put a nut on this, I can probably cut it to size and then take the nut off it and we should be okay. But, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, are you, are a little too big, damn. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, yeah. That may just do it. Let me see here. How much room do we have? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Threads are a little bit off, however. I don't know why. Ah, they're fine thread. I need that size. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But with that nut on it, but with that thread on it, this is a fine. That's a standard. So, uh, I'm thinking I have it in there. I mean, I know I have to have it in there. There's all kinds of shit in here. I am going to kind of categorize these a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> now my nose is going to start acting up. <laughs> Well, we're doing good today, huh? Blowing our nose, rubbing our eyes, what else? Stick my finger in my ear. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. No, too small. Too small. Too, 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 too small. You know, I should do this over there on the floor so I can dump this out. 
Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just moved something. Did I move the one that I needed? No. No, 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 no. <coughs> I can make this one work, but I, I really don't want, well, you know what I should do? I didn't even think of that. Well, we had a pretty good day yesterday to finish the fence. I got some power run. I ran it. I just didn't connect it to either end yet. I was going to do that today. However, it's raining today. So far, whoa. Well, oh, that's going to be way too thick. Uh, not too thick, but way too short. That's not even going to make it through this. Well, it may, if I countersink it, and that looks like the thread, I just, this may do it. That, this is it, this is it. <coughs> now, the, how I'm going to have to do this, though, is, uh, <coughs> I'm going to drill a hole from the outside, because I can't get in behind it size of that and then I'm going to just make sure it's clean so this drops into it and then this has a flat head on it no way of tightening up or anything like that and it's got this little hex that falls in or a little square that locks in well what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in that to fit this then I'm going to heat this up and then drop it in there and let it see into the plastic That'll give me the little extra that I need to screw the camera on. Plus, it'll lock this into here because it's going to melt in. Now, before I do that, I am going to try it. Not with that, however, but with another uh, sacrificial nut. Let me find something that I have hundreds of. Well, I could probably take it out, so it's not going to be a big deal. Okay, here's the same thing, but longer. <coughs> what I was going to do... Here we go. I got tons of these. Uh, I was going to get the camera stuff because every time you buy a camera it comes with all those attachments <clears throat> I'm still gonna look at those because there may be an attachment that I can use I just want to make it real bulky bulky okay. oh, yeah that one I need so let's put these back she went the uh, shopping over one of the uh, places in East Haven, Shoprite, I think it was, and um, she came home with some strawberries. Well, these strawberries are huge and they are sweet they're juicy they're just succulent i saved four i ate them all last night but i saved four for today all right i'm going to turn this back up so i have some that whoop not off up i'm going to take the coffee uh should i take you guys mm. I don't know. What do you think? Should I take the 360 for a while? All right, we'll do that. Are we still on? Are we still recording? It looks to be that way. Okay.
This really isn't a bad camera. However, it does have a habit of picking up the light glare from everywhere because of the way the lenses are, are made. <clears throat> so I'm not going to use this one. However, I do have a little another piece over here that I don't mind if I scrap a little piece. So do I have a... No, I don't. You know what, we'll just use a little part of this. Put these back. So the fence is up. Yay! Yeah, I got the heat. It's cold out. Well, it's not cold, but it's chilly. Uh, you know, damp. Wet. Whatever else you want to call it. It is. And I got the heat set on 80 in here. Yeah. It hasn't even come on. <clears throat> so I gotta turn this off. I heard it click off. Now I'll turn it back on and bring it up to about 78. The fan has just kicked on. Now what's gonna go with it? I don't know, Mr. Bill. Okay, so let's put this one in because I think that's the size. That's a little too big for the screw that I'm going to uh, experiment with. Let's do a little hole in this little puppy. Just a little one. And we'll put it right there, right at the end. So it's not going to interfere with anything. Now will this fit in there? It fits like a glove. Good. So I'm going to put it in from this end. So I want to make sure that this is all clean. <coughs> okay. Let's start the day by dropping the knife. I'm going to use the big one because I don't feel like wasting a lot of the little butane when concerned about the head. Okay, it's cherry red. Put that in there, drop it in. I don't want it to melt right through and off the other side. And I want to make sure we have enough bite on it. Well, guys, I think that's going to be okay. It seems to have done what I wanted it to do. Yep. Good. Now the other one is going to have that little...
You were heroic in your in your task. Uh, here's this. This is going to go this way. Uh, did I bring the screw out here? Did I not? I thought I did. Oh, I did. Here we are. Okay, so now we got to drill a hole to fit that. And not too big. I want it. If anything, this is it. A little bit smaller. <coughs> This away, and uh, I'm going to screw it from the, from the back. However, in my way. There. Okay, so now we gotta get that on there and drop it in from behind. I'm gonna get that off the that little nickel right there. Nice. This is going to be a little bit tougher because I'm going to have to hold this one by the head. Because it's short. You see the pliers that I'm going to want to take away. Go. That's just the way I want it. I got just enough room on this side to bite. Goody, goody, goody. And then let that out. Still hot. Ah! Still hot. Stop. Now we're gonna let that sit there. Oh, oh yeah, now it's nice. Now, now it's getting the way I wanted it. Put this on for the day, so I'm put this back in the box and start the fire. Now these are good pliers, good needle nose. I bought a pair of needle nose. Uh, I still have them around here someplace. Uh, a little bit longer, a uh, longer handle. Tractor supply, I think it was. Um, 
maybe not. They were blue handle with yellow trim. Uh, and I was using them to hold something, but I was like here to the flame. So I wasn't right in the flame like I just was with those. And the next thing you know, the tips went like that from me holding whatever it was. I can't remember. Uh, you know, and holding it, the pressure for me holding it and that E being in there bent the nose outwards. These, I could put them right in the flame and they stay right there. That's the way I like it. Now let's take this bit out. Put this bit in. Put these back over here for the time being. Ah, for the time being. That's better than for now. Look at these strawberries, guys. I mean, really. And the wife cleaned them all out. She uses a straw. You put the straw down through and it takes out the center core. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but it works great. You know, the, the larger straws? And um, it saves you from trying to dig it out and bite it off. Now, what I want to do here is Well, what I want to do, and I guess what I'm going to do, we're going to be two different things. Ah, oh, here it is. Just clean this off with a brush. stuff off it and I'm going to put a little dab of um, five minute epoxy on the back end. But apparently I'm going to have to wipe it down first because we got a little bit of soot, 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 soot. Yeah, just a wee bit. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, these strawberries are great. These are one of my weaknesses, summertime. Strawberries and watermelons and uh, uh, pomegranates. Orange juice and grapefruit juice. However, it's got to be pure juice, no concentrated shit, and it has to have pulp in it. That's the way it is. Otherwise, I don't buy it. Uh, I can use this, I guess. Yeah, why not? Is this resin? Don't need a lot. Just need a little dab of being it. Hardener. Same thing. Don't need a lot. An equal dab. An ice cream stick. Mix into a pan. Bake at approximately 200 degrees Fahrenheit.
mixed thoroughly. for the icing, be generous but smooth. Put in a place to cool. Alright, so anyhow guys, 